Hello guys, Mitch Romoshensky is here. Just a few moments ago, I got the notification from Twitter that uh, Angular team has released the new version of Angular. And um, yeah, I started to investigate what, uh, what what's new coming with this new version. And I, I realized that, you know, the description of this uh, promo in Twitter, it's uh, too abstractive. It's not really uh, clear immediately what, what's going on here. And um, it is fine for Twitter, yeah, taking into account that it has uh, the restrictions in the message size. But once we go to change log, um, usually I, I think it's not clear, not always clear what means this or that feature or some improvement. And so I decided that it might be really useful for others to get some squeezed information uh, from this change log. And uh, I could really uh, explain a bit, a bit more detailed way uh, what uh, what brings some certain improvements. And um, yeah, as I said, this is just pure experiment. I didn't prepare anything, so it's just pure improvisation. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like uh, to, if you would like to have uh, more such videos so I could, uh, in future, I could prepare some maybe use cases for some certain changes and so on. All right, let's 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 get started. So um, usually uh, bug fixes. It is it is a huge list, and uh, in most of cases, I uh, just quickly go through of them without diving into the uh, implementations and uh, things like that. Only in the case if I um blocked by some bug and I have to make some ugly workaround in my feature or sometimes even the whole feature blocked because of some bug. And if I um, kind of depends on it, then I check, check the bugs. But usually I just keep it and uh, yeah, I don't really care about this. So... I would kind of skip the bugs and I would jump to performance improvements. So what we can see here, and they say that they're using ng dev mode uh, variable or whatever it is to tree shake uh, warnings and um, okay, ah, I, I think I know what it mean. Uh, so we have some as example check no changes which makes not makes sense only for uh, development mode right and in the production we don't need it in our end bundle and um, they're using this ng dev mode in order to tree shake it yeah if we let's go to the commit and just check if i'm right so here we go. Yeah, you can see they kind of check. Yeah, if it's dev mode, then it will be involved this function. Otherwise, it will be tree shaken, I believe. Right. And okay, let's maybe check another commit. Yeah, you can see the similar things there. So it will reduce in the end the uh, end bundle size uh, thanks to tree shaking. And uh, the next thing they improved uh, make dependency injection decorators tree shakeable when used use factory. Um, what what does it mean? It means most probably they they're tree shaking this uh, dependency injection. Um, how they call it, uh, resolution modifiers. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I made the great video about this, so you can check this out. I will put the link up there somewhere. And um, yeah, let's maybe check the uh, GitHub issue. What? Uh, let's check if I'm right. This commit updates logic. 
Okay, it looks like let's check another uh, issue. I saw there are a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I am. Um, that's by the way why what I didn't mention in one of my videos that you can use the um, uh, resolution modifiers also in the um, use factory provider when you use a use factory provider and there are in depth you can um, in depth property you can use the skip self yeah so if I understood right it means that if you are not using this skip self it will be tree shaking from your end bundle so I, I would not say that it's uh, somehow drastically impact your bundle size but still it's a, a small step in the right direction uh, towards to decreasing the bundle size in angular which is um, i find it's absolutely great okay and uh, so the similar thing uh, with uh, for the forms uh, some unnecessary functions were tree shaken and yeah Okay, some files were, will be not processed multiple times, looks like. Okay, that's, uh, that's great. Then uh, allow, allow any subscribable in a sync pipe. Uh -huh. It means I think um, they replaced this subscribable with uh, instead of observable, right? I think yeah exactly and it means that okay I understood so uh, the thing is that um, in this um, file async pipe uh, I actually I, I, I so this this file uh, earlier I did some investigation on this file wanted to check how um, it was implemented and yeah they're using only subscribe and unsubscribe method in this um, uh, async pipe yeah and the thing is that we're using only subscribe and unsubscribe method and this method is um, declared inside this subscribable so observable extends this subscribable okay so it makes your um this async pipe more uh flexible because we uh drop this uh let's say narrow type observable and we introduce the broader type you can create only i don't know some your custom object or class which has a uh, subscribe uh, method and uh, then you can just go with uh, a sync pipe so it it will be working because now it would work as well but you would need to explicitly uh, cast it as any so uh, to avoid this um, uh, types with uh, issues with type but now it's not so strict and more generic and uh, yeah that's that's absolutely makes sense to me absolutely makes sense okay so here is clear uh, then things uh, like compiler sorry guys without preparation i can say really nothing about this thing because compiler that's quite a hard thing which um in in real life you will not most probably have to deal with the compiler itself and compiler cli as well uh, but um, yeah it might be some uh, really crucial things there but unfortunately uh, for now i can say nothing there i cannot uh, i cannot know everything and um yeah, uh, very important thing that it supports TypeScript 4.1. So yeah, you can check what new features are coming with this um, release of TypeScript and you can use uh, this in your project. Uh, and I remember I liked one feature from TypeScript, but I forgot how it's called, something like template, uh, template 
literal types or something like this. I don't remember exactly, but that's the really interesting thing that you can um, literal types, you can concatenate, like you work with the um, uh, JavaScript string, you can concatenate this with this uh, dollar sign and curly braces, the same you can do with types. I don't know how uh, clear it is. I will just put the, um, some screenshot here and uh, you will understand immediately what I mean. It's a really interesting feature, so um, you can use it. And also, I, as far as I remember, it has some breaking changes, so I would advise you to check this before, before to upgrade your project. Okay, so as I said, compiler CLI will be skipped. Um, all right, what else? Interesting, add schematics to fix and valid a road config. Okay, mm. good. That's why it's in the feature. It looks like uh, it's a bug. Uh, maybe it's a feature which fixes the bug. Okay, then it makes sense. <laughs> All right, so language service. Uh, this is language service. Uh, it gives it is kind of a library, I can say, if I can say, the library which uh, provides some API for code ed editors and helps you to, or not helps you, but uh, helps a code editor like uh, VS Code to um, better handle errors which you might do in your um in your during the coding yeah and it brings more strict types so you can um catch uh, errors way more earlier and it will highlight you know different errors even in your templates when you put wrong variable or wrong type and uh, yeah, this is really useful feature, especially for huge projects. That's that might be very very cool thing. And um, what what else? Localize. So yeah, it's being developed. It, so it gets more and more improvements, and we can see that now it supports uh, another uh, type of these uh, files. Rb. Before it was uh, how it's what XLF or I don't know. Please write me in the comments. Uh, I think it was XLF uh, extension for it was before. Now it also supports another one. But to be honest, I have never used this um, localized uh, thing in from Angular. I used NGX um, translate uh, library. And uh, yeah, so, but I would like to have a look uh, at this localized because with Ivy, it, um, it got a bit more features and uh, yeah, it's worth to, to have a look at this, but somewhere in the future. Then we have, uh, oh, we have support of a double tap event so this if you don't know but i think you know uh, this hammer gs this is uh, gesture library so library which uh, allows you to handle this um, uh, gestures from i don't know like iphone tap or pinch to zoom events things like that because default uh, api of any browser doesn't support all of these things so hammer gs does it and platform browser uh, can now handle the double tap, which is, yeah, makes sense. Uh, not makes sense, very useful, I would say. <laughs> so uh, the last, but most probably not least, it's add relative to, as an in input to roller link. Uh, okay, so you can, in roller link, you can define relative to which router you can uh, navigate, right? So let's maybe have a look at the issue to get more context about this. Allow configuration to... Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, you can define relative to which router you have to 
navigate. So good feature, uh, good feature. Thank you very much. Who did it? I don't know. At Scott. At Scott. Thank you. So what else we forgot? Oh, maybe this is also so query list has now get method and the query list this is something uh, ah this is what returns the annotation view children and i think i think content children also returns this query list so when you trying to uh, get references to some component in your view Right, you're using usually a uh, view children or content children if it's if you're using content projection, and it returns you query list, which is uh, like a collection, a iterable collection of uh, <coughs> of uh, these component instances, and it has looks like some get method, which <coughs> sorry, which probably returns some index. Let's maybe have a look at the commit. Okay, so yeah, exactly. We have this get it's index and it returns our our value. Yeah, here you can see this get method. And as you can see, they have this query list implements iterable means iterable. That's every object which implements iterable. So you can work with this like with array. Yeah, you can you know go through in the loop with with this uh, object. So this is uh, exactly implement square list so that's why you can work with this like uh, with a normal um, normal array yeah okay okay so this is pretty much it this is and it's already 1109 so all right guys that was it so let me know please if you like this format if i um, have to proceed with this. Uh, if, if, if you find this interesting, I will create uh, more videos like this with, uh, but I will prepare definitely better. So far, I didn't want to waste a lot of time because maybe it's not useful and uh, why I have to do it. But if it uh, makes sense, then yeah, I think I could do such a, a video format as well. Yeah, why not? All right, guys, have a productive week and see you in the future.